Now today we are going to discuss the newer anti-diabetics or newer drugs in diabetes mellitus. So we have GLP-1 analog that is also called as incretin and the name of drug is exenatide. So what is this GLP-1 analog or incretin? GLP-1 means glucagon like peptide 1 or it is also called as the incretin. This GLP-1 or incretin is released from the gut after meal. It is released from the gut after meal. So what are the actions of GLP-1 or incretin on the blood glucose level? It stimulate insulin secretion first of all. What are the actions of incretin? It stimulates insulin secretion that means it's an insulin secretogogue or it enhances insulin secretion. It suppress glucagon release or inhibit glucagon release we can say. It delays gastric emptying or it slows down the gastric emptying and it suppress the appetite center. So these are the actions of incretin and stu studies have shown that it also increases the beta cell mass. Studies have shown that it also increases the beta cell mass. So more and more insulin release will be there from the beta cell mass because it stimulates the insulin secretion. So this GLP-1 analog that is exenatide is nothing but the synthetic analog of incretin or synthetic analog of GLP-1. This exenatide, they have some self-limiting adverse drug reaction like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hemorrhagic pancreatitis in few patients. This GLP-1 analog like exenatide it is not given orally. The preferred route for this exenatide is subcutaneous. 30 to 60 minutes before food or before meal. Liraglutide is the longer acting analog of exenatide. Adverse drug reactions of the GLP-1 analog like exenatide or liraglutide is the only nausea vomiting in few cases.